How's it going everybody? Uh, today's video is another challenge video and it's from Big Booty who said beat Zebra with only healers, even friend healer. Um, so you can already see my healer team is right there and we can take a look at them. We've got a Guardian Lancia level 80 using an Evil Shard. Evil Shard increases your Brave Burst gauge after every turn. We've got an Anima Tiara uh, using a King's Crown. King's Crown substantially fills Brave Burst gauge if you get hit, they've got a uh, Rishil, uh, Anima was only level 60 something, using King's Crown as well, got an Anima Alimo using an Evil Shard, and then finally my Guardian Altree using an Evil Shard as well. Um, there was also, I had some other healers as well, um, one I could have brought was Phoenix, but I decided against it because it wasn't max level yet, is that what is that level like 89 or something? Um, yeah, and then also because it does his heal doesn't stack with Tiara, so I had to pick one or the other, and I chose Tiara instead because she gives that water boost as well. Um, but Phoenix is the better healer. If you pick Phoenix or Tiara, Phoenix is actually, he heals higher, and his SBB also does damage. Then I have Breaker Selena as well. I didn't have her Super Brave Burst unlocked yet, so I didn't bring her. Um, her Super Brave Burst, um, is basically the same as Phoenix, does AoE damage, and then has sustained healing for three turns. So that is decided on this party, and yeah, so the challenge is beating Zebra. I don't know if this was a challenge for me to actually beat him, or if it was a challenge for me to stay awake while doing it, because this I cut this video down so much because I swear it took me like 45 minutes to beat this dungeon. I mean, in a run, that if I bring my, like, crit team with, like, Zebra, Dual GX, Michelle, Dilius, and everything, I can finish this run in, like, less than five minutes. But when I brought this healer team in, oh my god, I was sitting there just, like, crying. Um, I didn't care about what items I brought as well, just because, I mean, I knew I was, I was gonna have to use any items. I should have brought, um, Holy Water, though. I think that cures Curse, because, um, just in case Zebra curses my owl tree, then I would have been screwed. But you can see, I basically just skipped ahead in the video right now. Um, this is the round right before uh, Zebra. And you can also see that I I didn't bring a healer friend because I didn't have any on my friends list. So I brought a Felmness instead. Ideally, I would have brought like a Phoenix friend or something. Um, I don't think, like having any friend, I could have brought a level 1 slime and I still would have beat this. It wouldn't have mattered at all, I can assure you that. But I brought a Felness instead, just because he was like one of my only options on my friends list. And I mean, all it means is more heals for me because of his leader skill, which increases the effectiveness, effectiveness of Reverse Crystal to 1.5 times their actual value. <coughs> so, uh, here's Zebra. And this boss battle like is actually like 5 minutes long, just because of how much time it takes. So you can see, okay, I got... I start off with Altree, and I also kick off Elimio, Lancia, Rashiel, and Felness. I kick off all of their Super Brave Burst or Brave Burst because so Altree gives you immunity to status effects. It cures status effects and then gives you immunity for the next three turns. Um, Felness's Brave Burst increases Brave Crystal Drop. Elimio's Brave Burst uh, raises your defense. My Lancia gives attack, and Rashiel gives critical hit chance. So I popped those three off, Elimio, Lancia, and Rashiel in the first turn, because as you can see here, I basically always have someone's Brave Burst up every turn for heal, so I just turn them on for their buff so I can kill it faster, like if it speeds up anything at all. I mean, this was a painfully long battle anyways. Uh, also, uh, my leader for this party is also Rashiel. Um, his leader skill increases your Brave Burst gauge at after the end of every turn. So the equivalent, um, if people know, um, Holy Knight M and also Asha have the same leader skill. The same. Um, but like most other videos, at some point there isn't much to say. I mean, oh, actually, I mean, all I do is I just turn on my heal. Like Tiara does like the three turn heal. Like her heal was basically useless um, in this battle because I had four other healers, so I already had one of them healing every turn, so it, it didn't matter, because like, so I would heal with Elimo, and then every one of my team would be full HP, 
and then tiaras he will tick right after. So it's not really the ideal use of a tiara. Like basically, I her heal was never utilized. Uh, a better way, um, and I really like doing the strategy, is bringing a single turn healer and then a sustained three turn healer. So a popular pick I like to do is like Elimo and Phoenix, in, and especially when I'm auto battling some dungeons. Um, if you try, um, for example, Obsidian Castle, the path forward, I've had a video where I did auto battle on it before using Ezes and Soul Spear, but if you did that one and you and you didn't have a full Thunder team there, it's one of the harder ones to auto battle through because the boss is uh, Malnathlis, so the pre the five star form of Felness, which Brave Burst poisons you, and then you also have um, a Limo as a boss as well, so it heals and gives defense boost. And the problem I found there was like I always brought um, my Owl Tree, and then I brought Tiara. So what what I would do is Basically, Tiara and Altri would always have the Brave Burst the first turn. So, as you know, in well, you can actually change this now. In Android, there's a setting that lets you only activate healing Brave Burst when you have less than 50% HP. But say, say you don't have that. Um, so, your Altri will just waste his heal on the first turn. Um, and it wouldn't even Super Brave Burst, so you don't get any um, invulnerability to the poison. But So, you wasted his Brave Burst. And then Tiara also uses hers, hers as well. The good thing about Tiara is for the next three turns, um, you will heal like a thousand HP on every unit because realistically bosses, they don't do more than like 2000 damage per turn. So you're always healing that back for the next three turns, like half of it. So you're, you're kind of sustaining through their damage. And then eventually your owl tree will, or my owl tree would have full Brave Burst. And then he would just heal. He would cure the poison, bring everyone back to full. And then for the next three turns, my Tiara's heal will just slowly be keeping them healthy in a good HP range to stay alive and to feel safe as well. So that's how I like to kind of use sustained healers. Um, yeah, Zebra's almost dead. Oh, I think oh, at this point I was, I was very scared. See, um, oh, I think it already passed actually. There was a point where... My owl tree was cursed, and I was like, oh no, if he doesn't... And then I only had like one healer that wasn't cursed. I think that part already passed. You guys should go back and watch that part, because I got really scared there. And then that's why I mentioned earlier that I should have brought those holy water secured curse, because I actually almost got screwed over there. But luckily, I, I lucked my way through it, basically. It's the easy way to say it. And yeah, that was like a really long boss battle, and I hope challenges in the future are more not so boring. I mean, it, it was cool using a full healer team plus a Felnius to do this, but in the end, I think, like I, I, I did fall asleep through some of the earlier stages, and but it doesn't matter because I cut it out anyways. Um, yeah, but that's it for this video, guys. Um, if you guys liked it, uh, like the video, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. And then I'll see you guys next time.